Anyone can become a writer. All you need is your imagination and something to write with. Ha! Huh? You thought. The industry has changed. Now people have become slaves of the moving image and fear critiques, making it hard to satisfy the audience and the industry because everything has been done before. Now we are witnessing the most difficult process of filmmaking that takes place in the writer's room. So I think we should fade in and if we're gonna stick with zombies, we could have James Baldwin as a zombie. James Baldwin as a zombie. James Baldwin. He's the lesser known Baldwin brother, he's pretty good. You sure? Yeah. No, he's related. Okay. And that's what he. That's what he said anyway on his resume. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. But either way, if it's possible, I was thinking, can we get Johnny Depp to make character? Because he usually just does really great. I think he's having some problems right now, though. I don't know. I have an idea. Let's hear it. Okay. Fade in. We swoop down in the jungle, South America. We can write about an anthropologist looking for the lost bones that hold the theory of humanity. He then figures out that it's no human bone, but an alien skeleton. But before he reaches down to grab the bone, a large snake comes Wait, and- that, that, no, we're not, we're, we don't need- Fine, but what if instead of a snake, his book falls into the water and loses map, making him live in the jungle forever? No, it's bad idea, we don't need any of that. Do you have anything better? Yes, matter of fact, I do. All right, fade in, in the bathroom. It could be about an intern who was working in a major company, yet the company is known to be haunted. He doesn't believe it until the intern comes out of the stall and hears creepy noises. He ignores it and then washes his hands as he feels a cold shiver running up his spine until the lights flicker. He sees something written on the mirror. The dark shadow starts to grow behind him and- It's too... predictable. Yeah, that's been done before. No, Plenty of times. No, it's not. Oh, I think it has. It's called Read a Script. You guys! Fire. Okay, come on. We gotta focus here, okay? Okay, what if we create a film about love? Alright, fade in. In a parking lot. Alright? It would be a romance, but it'll be black and white. So she gracefully walks to the elevator, right? And while she's waiting, she slowly looks over to him, and she playfully touches her necklace as she looks stunning for a night out. And then he turns, slowly. He removes his glasses and looks at her, and just pauses, playfully bites his lip at her. And then she winks at him, and you can just see the love blossom in their eyes as they- Nice try, Tarantino. That's been done before. <laughs> okay, well, just because it's been done before doesn't mean we can't have a twist at the end. In that case, why can't we do my idea? Oh, well, why can't we just do mine, okay? Let's make it my way. <laughs> I think I have an idea. We make an adventure film about an anthropologist looking for the lost bones of humanity. And while he is looking for them in his adventure, he encounters a dark shadow that finds him. What is just a woman that he once loved and left behind for his work? Nah. <laughs> Alright, well, back to my idea, though. No, 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 we're not doing your idea. My idea is great. Yeah, no, come on, guys. He started the Lost Bones. He liked the art of the Paul's idea. Okay, yeah, okay, because no, no, yeah, he's parking lot. Parking lot. Parking lot. No, no, guys. No, that's the random area. Some unsafe, you know, kind of relationship. What? Get your mind out of the gun. I'm just saying, a parking lot is not a good As we have witnessed, in this room, many stories have been retold in their own unique way. Yet, Another thing we have noticed is the people who hold you down the most are the people you work with. But in life, you have no choice but to work with people. So you will always be held back. <laughs>